So my name is Ash Tiwari and uh, I'm the chairman of the Department of Urology at Mount Sinai Hospital. I am also the director of Prostate Cancer Program. So prostate cancer early detection is an important initiative and it can be done with multiple things. First of all, we need to know what's the age of the patient, what is the race of the patient, what's the family history of any cancers. Not a bad idea to know what are the symptoms from a neurological standpoint they have. What's their profession, occupation, what are the risk exposures. And then we perform a blood test known as a prostate specific antigen. And we also perform an exam, which is known as a rectal exam for the prostate. And together, and sometimes one of the values will tell us whether we need to go to the next step or not. But this is how we find prostate cancer early by an exam and by a blood test known as a PSA. A lot depends on the family history, a lot depends on the race. On an average, we started at about 55. But if someone is a black man, someone has a positive family history, multiple members of the family had prostate cancer, then we can start at an early age, maybe 45 or something. So older men, black men, people with a family history of prostate cancer, and sometimes not just the prostate cancer, other cancers such as family members with breast cancer, family members with ovarian or a uterine cancer, family members with pancreatic cancer, they can be at a higher risk. People who have been exposed to Agent Orange, people who are part of the 9-11 exposure, all of that makes in a little bit of a high risk group and they need to be a little bit extra cautious in finding this cancer early. To me, it makes sense to find the problem smaller than letting it grow to be very big. Cancer starts from a single cell and it grows to become millions and billions and literally a multiple billion cells. When it is few thousand cells, it's a curable enemy. When it is few billion cells, it's a potentially curable enemy. But it is multiple billion, it has spread, then the battle becomes even more difficult. So it makes sense for me to find this cancer when it is in thousands or maybe millions rather than in billions. And it is very sneaky enemy, meaning uh, when it is a smaller in number, it doesn't produce any symptoms. It just hides inside the body, pretends to be uh, inconsequential till it becomes a problem. So finding a cancer, it is easier to go looking for it rather than waiting for it to declare because by the time symptoms come, cat is already outside the back. So that makes sense to me to find this cancer early and the only way it can be done is by we looking for it with the best tools we have available. And the tools are exams, the markers, and imaging actually. I am not sure should all men be screened for prostate cancer. There comes a discussion about the shared decision making, meaning all men should understand their risk of prostate cancer. Second part comes the life expectancy discussion meaning men who have a long life expectancy, otherwise are healthy, younger, they should at least know what's the risk of prostate cancer and then they can make a determination whether they want to pursue a journey, which sometimes there are problems with uh, going for an early detection or a screening because uh, if it involves mental stress, if it involves an anxiety, if it involves a biopsy, if it involves infection, pain, discomfort, and how to deal with the diagnosis, all that is a journey which they need to understand and they should kind of equate it with the risk what they have and then make a better decision as to whether they want to find out or they don't. But the discussion starts with the conversation. So early detection in my mind is about the conversation. PSA in my mind is only please stay alert. It's a conversation starter and then we can take it to the next level. Mount Sinai is doing literally many, many things which are going to impact patients with prostate cancer. First of all, it has invested in a whole new program, what they call the Prostate Cancer Center of Excellence, which is a part of Mount Sinai and in a collaboration in within the 
Tisch Cancer Institute, which is an NCI designated cancer center. So every kind of an expert is inbuilt, embedded, integrated within one program. Then it has invested a lot in the biomarker level development. It is having a program just on the imaging of prostate cancer. They have a program for an advanced prostate cancer. We perform literally thousands and thousands of robotic procedures. We have developed uh, uh, nerve sparing procedures. We have programs about the immunotherapies. We have one of the largest active surveillance program. All combined, every facet of uh, uh, treatment, diagnostics, biomarkers, and research is happening here under one roof at Mount Sinai Hospital.